Thank you. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for being here with us. It's uh, very special to be here in Taipei at Computex to talk about computing. We have been a very, very big believer in the change that AI is going to bring to the devices at the edge. And of course, Snapdragon is going to be the heart of those new AI PCs. There's going to be powering computers for the age of the AI. Uh, I think that's actually, at the end of the day, it's the story of Qualcomm. It's all about partnerships. We could have not done it without great partnerships. And we are, together with Microsoft, deploying those devices in thousands of organizations. So rather than you hearing about that from me, I want you to hear from Satya how we have been in this journey with them. Please play the video. Thanks so much, Cristiano. It's great to join you at Computex. Microsoft and Qualcomm have a long history of partnership and innovation. And over the past year, we have delivered an entirely new class of Windows PCs built for AI. Copilot Plus PCs are transforming productivity and creativity across work and life. AI experiences running on these devices like Recall, Windows Search, Click to Do are helping people get more done every day. And Copilot Plus PCs with Snapdragon Silicon are some of the fastest, most power efficient Windows PCs available. And the Snapdragon AI stack is powering some of our most advanced innovations too, including the first deployment of our on-device SLM Phi Silica. And just this month, we announced our new Surface laptop with Surface Pro, both powered by Snapdragon Silicon. Of course, this is only the start, and I look forward to everything we will deliver together for our customers in this AI era. Thank you so very much. We made a lot of progress in one year, a lot of progress. Three times the number of applications that are native on Snapdragon since the launch, uh, 750 native applications today, and many of those applications working at great performance with the emulator. 93%, 93% of the user's time using those devices are now on native experiences. And there's over 50, and I'll talk a, a, later in this presentation, I'll talk about numbers of AI applications, but now over 50 uh, NPU-powered features and applications. And the most important thing, the top 200 global apps now available on Snapdragon. So we also spend a lot of time in this year since we announced on games. We have now 1,400 games that are now running and optimized on Snapdragon, and we're working with all the top global game studios. We have been busy, and we'll continue to be busy working with Microsoft, working with all the application providers, the ISV, and the gaming titles to bring great experience for you. And of course, I have an announcement, you know. Uh, Fortnite is going to be coming to Snapdragon as well. And it's going to be a great gaming experience on Snapdragon X Elite running on, on Adreno GPU. Uh, we also working with Epic Games uh, to bring easy anti-cheat to Windows on Snapdragon. That's going to unlock a lot of new uh, gaming experience. Uh, you're going to see this year Fortnite running with great performance and we're incredibly excited. And we have seen incredible platforms with great performance, multi-day battery life, and that is result of not only what we do, but the collaboration with great device makers. And I'm very fortunate to have many of those partners with us here today. And I would like to welcome to stage a very important partner of Qualcomm. Please welcome SY from ASUS. Hello everyone. It's great to be back with Qualcomm. We are at the start of a new era in computing, where AI is not just a feature, but the foundation of the user experience. That's why we are so aligned with the Snapdragon X series platforms. These processors are not just powerful. They are engineered from the ground up for the AI PC. We are thrilled to bring Snapdragon X processors to our lineup, including the world's lightest 14-inch Copilot Plus PC, the ASUS 
ZenBook A14. This old new ZenBook shows what's possible when leading edge hardware meets user-centric design, a core tenet of Asus design thinking. We are talking multi-day battery life, up to 32 hours on a single charge. Users will experience blazing fast processing with no performance loss when unplugged. The chassis features our patented Seralumina, offering exceptional lightness, durability, and a smudge-free ceramic-like feel that's anti-wear and anti-scratch. All this combined with seamless cross-device connectivity within the Snapdragon ecosystem delivers the best Copilot Plus PC experience available. Our collaboration on Snapdragon exemplifies the power of Qualcomm and Asus innovation. We are shaping the future of personal computing, bringing powerful, efficient, and intelligent devices that empower users in this new AI era. Thank you very much. When we talk about you know, being busy this year, uh, we're very happy with the traction so far. We have now 85 plus designs that are launched or in development with Snapdragon X series. And now we have line of sight to have about 100 designs uh, in the hands of people as we get to next year. We're on this journey, but it is exciting actually to see the devices. And if you have a great platform, you can build great devices. And with that, there's some devices that are actually being announced at Computex, uh, at this show. You see both the Acer and the HP, they're being launched at this event. Also, within the few days uh, past, you saw the Surface laptop uh, from Microsoft, the Samsung. And the whole story, it's about preparing the market for what we believe is a big shift in personal computing. It's gonna be true of many devices. It's gonna be true on phones, it's gonna be true uh, on cars, but especially on a personal computing, the next generation AI PC. Uh, Qualcomm and HP has been actually working together for more than two decades. And what I like about this partnership is both companies are going to the same exactly story, which is reaching into whole new markets in new device categories. That's what we're doing, that's what HP is doing. And they have actually the same vision that we have when we think about building great devices for AI and taking that experience you know, across everything that we use around us uh, for computing in the age of AI. I'd like to welcome to stage Alex Cho, President of Personal Systems from HP, to share all of this with you. Well, we've been very busy making AI tangible and real. That's really been our focus, make it tangible and real for people. And so that's why we've started by making it very much um, meaningful for how people work. And we've worked very well together around all those ISV applications. And I think the key word has been use cases. Uh, secondly, we've been very busy making it mainstream. It's not just one product or two. We've now launched the industry's largest portfolio of Copilot Plus. AI PCs, and so we're very excited that we take the breadth of HP's portfolio and can bring that. And then we're bringing HP's differentiation in the world's most secure platform and the highest performance on this platform. So we've been busy, and customers are telling us beyond the speeds and feeds, it's how people can work differently that makes all the difference, and that's why our partnership is especially uh, valuable. As I shared earlier, you are coming here to Computex, but you're not empty-handed today. No. Can you tell us about what you're announcing today? Sure, we're very excited today to announce our Onibook 5, powered by Snapdragon, that's X, X Plus. By the way, the reason why we're so excited about this, Cristiano, is because it's part of our vision of not just delivering AI in a meaningful way, but to the mainstream. And I actually remember when we had dinner together, that place, the steakhouse in the Bay Area, and we said our opportunity is to be disruptive. Not just to introduce products, we do that every year, we do a lot of that. We're here about being disruptive. AI that's powerful for the mainstream. It's the thinnest 16-inch notebook out there for the mainstream. It's the longest battery life out there in a consumer device 
for the mainstream. And by the way, it's bringing beautiful OLED to the mainstream. So we're not just bringing AI, but we're bringing AI to the mainstream together. And so that's why we're very excited. And thank you so much for the partnership. No, and I, and I love it. It's uncompromised AI, regardless of what, uh, of what you are. And we're going to make sure that's in the hands of everyone. Now, what I really want to talk to you today, as we get to this part of the presentation, is how AI is going to change our experience. One of the things that are becoming more clear now is as you build AI into those devices, uh, the AI becomes a new UI because the computers now understand human language. And, and that it's how we're going to evolve OSs, how we're going to evolve the applications. Eventually, we're going to change our mindset and our view about what's an OS is. Maybe an OS is like a marketplace for agents, but the AI really will become the OS for productivity and it's going to evolve with AI agents. Performance, multi-day better life is incredible. But what's really incredible and our main motivation uh, to get into this market is the change that is going to happen with AI. This is how you should imagine uh, how the device and OS and applications are going to change. And we're going to give you some examples of that. But in one way, it's going to be your input, right? It's going to be uh, your voice, uh, audio, it's going to be vision. Remember, a large visual model understand the pixels on the screen, understand images from photographs, understand image from documents. It's going to be your text, your touch. Uh, that's your input. And in case when we talk about multi devices, it's going to be your surroundings. That's the physical world and your input. Then you're going to have your context, your digital footprint. It's the information about you. Uh, and it could range from your calendar, your location, your files, your contacts, many other things. And then when we talk about enterprise, you're going to have the company systems. You're going to have different functions within the company. And that's how those things are going to work together. With the understanding of your intentions, with understanding of you, because now those agents can understand you, access of your data, and know the job you want to do, it will help you get your task done. And then I want to use this opportunity to talk about another great partnership. Please welcome to stage Luca Rossi from Lenovo. Just one year ago, we stood on this stage and outlined a bold vision of a new era, the rise of AI PCs. That vision is becoming reality. And Lenovo is proud to be leading this momentum in partnership with Qualcomm. Now switching gears, Lenovo AI Now. Our own device AI agent gives user fast, private, secure, and always on support at their fingertips, complemented by Copilot Plus experiences and a wide range of AI-enabled applications. So to conclude, the AI PC revolution is here, and Lenovo is proud to be leading it together with Qualcomm. And as Cristiano said, we are just at the beginning. Thank you. Thank okay. you. So it's interesting when we think about AI PCs, and I get a lot of impatient uh, sometimes uh, uh, investors, they'll say, when is the AI PC happening? It is happening right now. This is what we started to see. And you're going to go through exactly the same process. This is not about just the great Copilot Plus features for Microsoft and the incredible features that the OEMs are giving to you, but also it's going to be what the developer ecosystem can do now that they have access to this hardware with this great NPU performance. It's about AI accelerated productivity. It's going to change the workflow of applications within the enterprise. And a great example of that is Writer. We actually deployed Writer at Qualcomm to our internal teams. It's been incredibly successful. And I want Kevin Chung, the Chief Strategy Officer from Writer, to come on stage to tell you about it. So here's the deal. Uh, businesses have poured millions of dollars into AI, hoping for big returns. And Writer, since day one, has been in the AI game for a long time. We've been tackling enterprise problems and helping companies realize that return on investment. Today, 
we're working with hundreds of the world's most iconic companies, many in the Fortune 500, including Qualcomm. So what that translates to is tens of thousands of workflows transformed with AI. So taking traditionally labor-intensive, complex workflows and making them AI-powered. So our work together and our teams, Cristiano, which is amazing, your team is incredible, we're seeing 9x ROI on our investment. The team is saving over 2,400 hours a month with Rider, and we're just getting started. And all device AI is really at the very beginning of its journey. And what I'd like you to uh, understand now is I want you to see this video that is show this uh, thing about the device in your context, uh, pun intended, uh, put it to work. I'm Taylor. I'm a food scientist working with some of the biggest culinary brands in the world. There are parts of my job I'd love AI to help me with but it doesn't have my experience, my perspective, or my style. If AI is going to help me, it needs to understand me. So what if it did? Let me introduce you to Context, the world's first agentic AI model that runs entirely on device using Snapdragon's NPU. Context uses files already on my laptop to understand me, the way I work, what I know, and how I communicate. Then it can use all that information to help me in ways I never thought possible. It can search through and organize my data, create presentations, draft communications, and so much more, all based on the wealth of data that's already on my computer. As an agentic AI model, it can take a task, complete it end to end, and then go a step further, offering suggestions for what it could do next. And here's the really important part. None of my data ever leaves my device because Context runs entirely on device with Snapdragon's NPU. Brands trust me with some of their most sensitive information. With Context running on device, I can protect and safeguard that IP while bringing it to life. This allows me to spend more time on the work I love to do more efficiently and securely than ever before. Context, the world's first agentic AI that runs privately and powerfully on device, all made possible by Snapdragon's NPU. So this is a, a great example of an agentic experience. It's a breakthrough for productivity. It's really tailored to the organization knowledge base. And you have that running on the Snapdragon NPU. Uh, and you choose, again, what is the data that you actually want to keep on device, especially leak contacts or things that are private and want to be on the cloud. And at the end of the day, this is why we're investing so much on the NPU. As I said before, I'm going to repeat, it's great to have performance, it's great to have multi-day battery life, it's great to have a new form factor, but this is going to really shine when AI starts to get to a scale. And this NPU is going to be essential for the AI experiences. Just, you can see the performance. This is compared to the Intel Core Ultra 7 GPU. 4X faster for DaVinci Resolve, 14X faster for Vegas Pro, 50% uh, faster for Gigapixel. You see what, how it performs on Luminar. And this is about having the ability to run those things not only fast, but with very little power without compromising the battery life, even for very complicated tasks. This is where we are. I think we are at the really beginning of the on-device AI models. And I think our technology is really a perfect match for this growing number of high quality, smaller models. And really, Snapdragon is it's designed to be not only at the heart of your PC, but really helping all of us enable this transition to AI PC in the way that we have imagined. Before I leave the stage, I have one more thing. And I just want to tell you, we are expanding into the data center. Uh, I won't give you all the details right now. Soon, you'll hear from us about the products. So stay tuned. Uh, we're busy. We're working on this, and hopefully we'll do something that will will provide a great contribution for the industry. Thank you so much for listening to our presentation. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you. I hope to see you soon.